All right, so I wanted to come back and make one minor correction to my video about the standing eight count. Apparently, the commission scrapped the standing eight count in 1998. It doesn't even exist anymore. So unless Kovalev actually hit the canvas, which he didn't, he doesn't get a standing eight count because it doesn't exist in boxing anymore. And it's a good thing that they actually got rid of that because if you think about it, a standing eight count really doesn't make any sense the way that it was um, used before where a referee can just stop the action and give the opponent that's getting beat up a chance to recover and, and to look at him and give him a count. That really doesn't make sense and there was no use for it. So I guess the commission decided it wasn't needed in 1998 and they actually got rid of it, which only helps my argument even more. Okay, uh, Kovalev did not deserve any type of count whatsoever. Now, if he had taken a knee like a smart man would have done, then maybe he would have still had a chance to continue into the fight. But he wanted to play the whole low blow game and, and uh, cry that he was being fouled and it was dirty fighting and all of this type of stuff. So he lost himself the damn fight. I mean, I would have rather taken a knee and had the opportunity to come back and, and stay in the fight than to do what Kovalev did, bent over, unresponsive like that, okay? So even though I was slightly wrong about the standing eight count because it doesn't exist anymore, it really only just helps my argument even more. So nobody should be talking about a standing eight count anymore because it doesn't exist in boxing, all right? I'm out.